have the CHR21 hybrid machine. So it does have a fault with the control side and the machine has been rolled on. You see the gearbox is disengaged. So it's been pushed in here. Just gonna try to see what's happening. So the machine started up. It displays communication error on the display. I push a green button. Nothing is working. So electric motor is not running. The PLC is flashing green here. And interestingly, if I press the green button, I can see the solenoids coming on. You can see here. See the light comes on. So the solenoid is switching on us to operate. Or well, the motor controller is not running. I think it's possibly the same in the cage. Let's have a look inside the cage. Yeah, same as in the cage. Communication error. On the engine side, we have a motor controller. The motor controller status line is flashing as normal. It seems like it's not a problem here. So first thing, what I'll try to do, I'll try to go through the ground fuses and make sure they're all good. And no problems there, but there's definitely something happening with the communication and the camera system is down. So we need to try to find the reason for that. So I'm just using this uh, error scanner here, um, just scan to scan the canvas fault. And you can see here it's showing 900,000 errors. So it's a lot of errors happening. So it's, it's really struggle to communicate. Some messages come through, but mainly there is error messages. So you know the problem is that the base and the cage and um, so first thing I will try to do, I will try to open this uh, main control box and I will try to separate the canvas from the uh, base and the cage and you can do this by, just give me a sec, I'll remove that. I'm just gonna disconnect these two wires because this, this wire that goes into the cage, okay. So I'll disconnect this to can high and can low wires. And then uh, once I disconnect them, I will try to see if that error goes away because we're going to separate uh, base and cage, the can of communication. Okay, so let me do that first. So that's can low. And I did that for the can high. So look at the canvas wires that was in the cage is disconnected so now I'm going to start the machine up again you see the screen is on now okay so if I try to operate the machine I have the motor on I see the machine is operating now so now I know that there's a fault in the cage and we have to look inside the cage where the fault could be okay so I'm here in the cage now, I open the console as you can see, we have a three devices, the cage display, joystick and an LED, a can node, so joystick, no, drive joystick, cage display and uh, the can node, this is the device that's working on the canvas, so I'll remove all of them, I disconnect the plug, this is the main plug, disconnect uh, drive joystick and I will disconnect the display so by doing that I will eliminate all devices in the canvas and I know the fault gone away when I disconnect the cam wires so if the fault is still remains on and we may be suspecting the loom or the wiring to the cage let's turn the machine on But I don't think it's a joystick related because the joystick is off until you switch the control to the cage and uh, try to the base. Yeah, you see, the fault is still here. Okay, so it's not a canvas device. So the problem is the canvas wiring. Okay, and the can of wires comes through here into here. So I will open this cover and we'll look on the wires first. So you can see here the can high and can low wires, that's where it comes in. That all looks good. I will try to look for the loom, maybe there's a damage in the loom somewhere. And that is causing the troubles here. 
so just gonna look around this trials all the way you see there is some cut in here I'm not sure see if you can see it but the sun is out now if something has happened because look that bit is missing and the loom has been cut so it's been damaged it's been hit here but this cable is a power to cable nothing obvious yet but we know there is something has happened in this area so now I know the problem is not with the CAN devices here so I connect everything back on and uh, what I've done here at the bottom I disconnect uh, I didn't need this yet, but I unscrew the connections for the can high and can low. Okay, so this is my can low and this is my can high. So those wires come from the base. So before when I disconnect those wires at the base control box, the machine worked. So I'll try to see again if that's gonna make a difference. So let's turn the machine on and um, see if it's gonna come on. Okay, so that's not a problem. So machine is on. So that's not a fault in the loom. Or well, there is something happening on the can wires inside the console. So let's connect them back on and see what's gonna happen. I just moved this uh, cream here and that's moving. So that seems to be loose to me. And uh, I looked on this one, um, this one here, it seems like quite a bit of corrosion on the, on the a cream itself between the between the bolt and the washer so I'll try to remove that and just to see if there is any corrosion there maybe that's what's causing the troubles here so let's try that first before I do anything else I remove those wires clean the connections here and reassemble that the one the can high the can high wire it looked a bit corroded so let's try to see if the problem is gonna be that and look on this one here that that's loose as well the ground wire so maybe the ground issue here as well which is doesn't have a good common ground so I'll try to tighten up that as well and I start, start the machine up okay so I tighten up this this wire that they all tight now so that that could be a problem as well because there is a ground the ground wire so if you do have a ground problem that can affect the can communication so let's start the machine up and see how it's gonna be now. Okay, still the same problem. Okay, so what I will do now, I will disconnect the wires on the plug that goes to the KHPCB board. these two wires this is the wire that comes from uh, from the base and from those two connectors I just done so I will disconnect those two wires can high can low and I want to see if that's going to have any effect on the machine so we're just eliminating the problems or the components one at a time and then let's see what's going to happen now you see still a problem so still we have a communication problem okay that's interesting so let's put them back on and then we will try to disconnect something else so I'm just gonna follow the wire to see where else it goes but at the moment it looks like it goes only here I'm not sure where display cable goes to but it travels all the way here and I have to cut this cable tie off just to free up the wires I think there is a joint for the can low and can high yeah you actually can see it look so this is can low and the gray wire I think is going to display into this display here Okay, so I'll disconnect display, but maybe it's a problem with the 
with a cable on a display. Okay, let me connect this this two back on, and I will check the dis display cable. So look what I have. I have this uh, screen wire for display, and they all comes together here. So this is the can wire feed. Then you have one wire, this wire that goes into the PCB board here. Then you have a one wire that goes into this plug, and then this wire that goes into display plug. So first, I I I think the problem is going to be with this. Uh, this connector here and this wire so I'll try to do some resistance checks between here and the can high can low but before I do resistance check I will disconnect the can high and can low in the main box so that's not interfering with my measurements so look I'm measuring now resistance I have this plug disconnected so we know these two wires are coming from this point can high and can low this point here I disconnect the plug here so this is second pair of the wires from the same point. That is disconnected as well, but that should not have any effect because it's disconnected from this plug. So, and uh, the, the display is disconnected, okay? So I have my one side of the multimeter goes into the blue wire, and that's uh, the wire from this plug, and this is negative, so zero. And the next one, it goes on to can high. Okay, so go into can high have nothing if I go into can low I have 11 <coughs> kilo ohms which uh, I would be expecting to have zero as well so look I have 11 kilo ohms and now what I'll try to do I'll try to move this plug maybe and see if that is gonna change The, on display that's gone down it's gonna measure between the chassis now 12 kilo ohms as well and between negative there 11 So I do have some sort of resistance between uh, high and zero, which is no, not high. Can between the can low and zero, and I think that's possibly the, where the problem is. Ideally, I would like to cut the screen plug out and then see if we still have this uh, resistance. Because looking into wires. This wire doesn't look like it's been affected and I can actually inspect the crimps and everything but I cannot inspect what's happened inside this plug. Okay, that's why I think maybe the problem is there. And this wire, this, this connector as well, I can see there's nothing wrong with that. So let me just put this on a can low again. Now, I put this on a can low here, and I put this on a positive, and look, it's showing me a short circuit. So it's shorting can low into positive now. Let me look at the screen here, and let me move this plug a bit, just to see if that's going to make any difference. no difference at all so by moving the plug I kind of making slight movement in the resistance but not a lot look did you see that so I, mo I moved this plug up 
look what's happening. So I'm just moving the plug and the resistance goes. Okay, so I think the problem is with this plug. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to disconnect this quickly. So I remove this probes. I'm gonna connect this back on here. I'm gonna connect this plug back on. Okay, and what I'm going to do now, I'm going to cut this wires from this display plug. Okay, so it's a black one for the can high. So I'll cut it. Let me just cut this up so you can actually see the, the, the wire from display. So look, I have a black wire can high. So I'm going to cut some here. Okay, and I have a can low gray wire. Okay, so we'll cut that off as well. So now I disconnect can high, can low. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to reconnect the wires at the base and I will start the machine up. Okay, let me just connect these wires back up here and then we start the machine up. Can high. Okay. So let's turn the machine on. There we go. No more faults. Everything's working. If I switch to the cage controls, you will have some error. Maybe it's oh no, it's because the joystick is not plugged in but it's not a joystick fault, so we know the problem was display plug. So what I will try to do, I will try to see if I can, uh, if I have a spare this display connector and I'll try to replace that. All right, so I fit a new plug on, so that is on. So I turn the wires, they can high, can low, the power supply. It's only four wires to do it. And everything is connected now as it was. So what I will do, I will flip this back on. I think that's going to be a fix, okay? So let's start the machine up. So let's turn the machine on. All right, so now everything is came on. No problem, so push the green button. Motor is running. I switched the key to the cage controls. No error codes is present, so that's good. Let's try again. So look, the error frames are at a zero now. And uh, we have a message, message counter is going up. So I'm scanning errors from the canvas and the uh, error frame is zero, message count is going up, so the message is being scanned, but uh, there is no errors. And before, as you remember, it was like hundreds and thousands, uh, hundreds of thousands of errors. So it was nearly, nearly near, close to the million. So all good, I will test a bit more machine and uh, have to engage with brakes just to see if drives and the functioning and uh, I think that is gonna be fixed and good to go. If you have a problems you can work your way as I did just isolate the parts of the machine and then uh, that gives you indication where to look for the problems as we did with the isolated wires in here so we separate a cage cage side from the base and then um, we we managed to see that uh, the function is working from the base display came on and then we knew the problem is in the cage okay and then measuring resistance obviously we were able to find the short circuit Alright, so that's all done for now.